I just came to some house in a family in Coimbatore. It's part of the Indian tradition that if somebody comes home, the first thing is always, the first form of welcome is a glass of water, always. So this lady brought a glass of water upon a tray. I looked at her, she looked like Kali to me. <laughs> you heard of Kali, all of you? The non-Indian people, you heard of Kali? Kali is a terrible form of a goddess, tongue hanging out and blood oozing everywhere and all that. So I said, you're looking like Kali today, I don't want to drink this water. The moment you say that I don't want to drink water, this is another thing you must know if you go to your South Indian home, if they bring water, you don't say no, you sip it, you understand? If you say no, they'll get terribly offended that you're refusing to drink water in their house. So now I know another kind of drama will begin. Then I said, okay, you sip the water first. She sipped it and said, <laughs> That means she thinks I'm using her as a food taster <laughs> and she says it's good water. What she means by that is, I have not poisoned it. I said, you don't have to poison it, the way you are is enough. Just give it to me a moment. She gave the water to me, I just held it in my hands for one minute and gave it back to her and I said, drink it. She drank it and burst into tears and started crying loudly. It is sweet, it is sweet, she is crying. I said, that's all it is. This is all your damn life is about. You can either turn this sweet, or make it poisonous, it's up to you. That's all it is. So the water today, we know about this in so many ways in India, Tirth. In every temple there's a Tirth because water is capable of memory and intelligence. Today much research has gone into this. Every molecule of uh, water, water molecules which gather and make into water cells, they have a phenomenal capability to remember things. Everything that happens around the water, it remembers. Everything that it comes in contact with, it remembers. It is alive. It is alive and intelligent. Water behaves just about the same way as human nervous system behaves. If you if you take this water and just look at it with a certain emotion, immediately the molecular structure will change. If you look at it with a different kind of emotion, it will change differently. It is no more your grandmother talk. In, even today in traditional southern Indian homes, if you go and see, water is kept like a deity, understand? With vibhuti, with sacred ash smeared on it, and properly worshipped every day, it is worshipped before you drink because we've always been conscious that water has memory and if it has memory of the right things, it will do the right things within you, if it has memory of the wrong things, it will do wrong things within you. <laughs>